Corona tumours account for around 5% of benign ovarian epithelial tumours. They are a type of adenofibroma. They are usually unilateral and asymptomatic and are often an incidental finding. They occur typically in the 40s to 60s and 25% of Brenner tumours occur with other tumours, most frequently mucinous cyst adenomas. The vast majority of Brenner tumours are benign, but 3-5% to of them may be borderline or alternatively known as proliferating Brenner tumours and 5% of Brenner's are malignant. Grossly, Brenner tumours are solid, well circumscribed lesions with a grey, white or yellow cut surface, sometimes containing cysts, and half of Brenner's are less than 2 cm across. This is the gross appearance of a Brenner tumour. In fact, this is a proliferating or borderline Brenner tumour. And this has a solid, white, slightly yellowish cut surface that in areas contains cysts. Histologically, Brenner tumours have quite a characteristic histological appearance with nests of transitional epithelium lying in a fibrous stroma. The nuclei are regular and some of the nuclei may contain grooves resembling coffee beans. Another feature that may be present is the presence of microcysts with eosinophilic areas in some of the nests of cells. This is the histological appearance of a Brenner tumour. The stroma is fibrotic and here is a well-defined nest of transitional cells. Here is a higher power view of the nest of cells. And as we zoom in a bit more you can see some grooves in the nuclei resembling coffee beans. If you examine the stroma of mucinous cyst adenomas, it is not unusual to find foci of Brenner tumours. In fact, this is a Brenner tumour that has risen in a mucinous cyst adenoma. And here is the columnar mucus secreting lining. And finally, you can see that these nests of transitional cells contain microcysts and some contain eosinophilic secretions.